So my favorite lure has got to be the Senko Wacky Rig. Um, pretty much all you have to do is bend your Senko in half and put your hook right there, right in the middle. That's all you have to do. This lure is a, really does all the action itself. At, at Walmart, Senko pack is like two to three bucks, and then the hook pack of like ten is a buck. Really, really. If you're going, if you're budget fishing, fishing that's a perfect way to do it. Um, you can really. It's not weedless, so you can't throw it in the weeds, but you can go up against docks, off points. That's really where I throw a wacky rig um, in the summer. But uh, overall, it's a really uh, versatile pile bait. It really does the work itself, like I said. It's a beginner bait, and also it could be if a person like, has been fishing for a while, they, they also could use it. It's a really easy bait to use. That's just it. You have to go get yourself one for the. My second favorite lure has got to be the frog. You can throw this in thick moss and lily pads, and we will not get snagged because these hooks are right next to the frog. And then when the fish has it, they're like that. They hook them real easy. A couple tips I have for the frog is um, throw, them, throw the frog in the, in the mornings and before it gets dark at dusk. You can also throw it in the middle of the day, but they're mostly going to be under the cover like the moss and lily pads, like I said. But in the morning and dusk, they're most they're out cruising in the middle of, like searching for bait fish. And this just mimics like an injured bluegill or a frog. And um, really what I like about it most is it gets your adrenaline pumping when a big fish just blows up on this. It gets you just so excited. So make sure you don't set the hook. Immediately count to three, then set the hook. My third favorite bait is the chatterbait. I like it the most because I'm a power fisherman. I like to fish quick and uh, cover the water quickly. Um, this is the perfect bait to do it. Um, this blade right here really gets the fish's attention quickly while you're reeling it right past them. And if they, they want it, they'll come and eat it. If they don't, you're not going to catch anything. Um, this bait I would throw near the dock, any, any docks, or um, if there's a, a spillway, throw it in, into that current and reel it back. Um, also, I would throw off of points. That's where you get your most. Throw it in your in your high percentage areas. That's where I that's where I throw this chatter bait. Um, also, this bait is also really good in like grass, unlike a spinner bait where it get caught up or a square bill. This is really good in like the weedy ponds and lakes that you're fishing. Okay, so my fourth favorite lure to use is the Texas rig. This is a weightless, but I also like to use the weighted and the peg version. The weightless I like the most because I can cast it out on the moss or lily pads and retrieve it and act like a little, almost like a spider kind of, and the fish can come out and react to it and just bite it. And this, you don't have to wait three seconds. Like Once they bite it, you just set the hook. The difference between a weightless, weighted, and a peg is a weighted, you have a bullet weight and there's no peg, which is and so the bullet weight just floats up and down the line e um, easily, and then your bait follows natural fall. Um, but a peg is where you put a bobber stop on your line, and then you push it all the way down so your weight gets stuck right up against your bait. This is where you're fishing where the frog would be. You're fishing thick moss, like thick, you want to go into the moss, and you want to go under the lily pads. That's where you use a peg, because you want to get the weight tangled up in all the other stuff. Um, the one thing with the peg is you kind of lose a little bit of your hookup ratio because uh, the peg it doesn't the hook can't move and the hook the hook can't move so when you set the hook the hook doesn't really come out it just sits there and might pull it out of the fish's mouth that's why I don't really like using the peg that much I'll just use a weightless and uh, that's it those are my four favorite fishing lures for the summer hopefully you guys enjoyed. Okay guys, thanks for watching the video. That's it. Those are my, my four favorite fishing lures to use that I would carry with me all the time. Um, make sure to subscribe, like the video, comment down below what you want to see next, and peace.